Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some really interesting stuff to go over for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We are in rumor season so we're going to be seeing a load of different things about the upcoming Gen 9 games and some images dropped earlier today that I definitely wanted to go over. As well as that, Riddler Koo has said something else as well so plenty of stuff to take a look at today. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video subscribe if you're brand new for daily pokemon content ring the notification bell with all of that out of the way though let's get into the video and i really hope that you enjoy so, starting things off, let's go over all of the potential leaks, new rumors that have been cropping up over the past 24 hours. Now again, these are just rumors, even though the screenshots look kind of legit and stuff. Take them with a grain of salt until we obviously find out if they are true or not. But this is the first thing that we're going to be going over, and it was a tweet by Ku. Now, originally, I thought that this was a uh, like a tweet about... Um, Pokemon Legends Arceus and Riddler Koo talking about how like there'll be a Titan soon so that's obviously a Reggie like the Titan Reggies um, because he says Titan soon considering that too many and then he just goes off into a spiel about I don't know I don't know what's wrong with the dude uh, he is obviously somebody that does leak a lot of information and is obviously a very legit source but I don't know what's going on with all this other stuff like I, I have no idea and then this person replies saying does that mean you're going to stop posting leaks because here he says he's going to retire in the field in the future please don't do that I love your tweets and I always going to look forward what your next post is going to be should be after Scarlet Violet um, so yeah I, I, I thought that this was going to be like Legends Arceus related because obviously it's a titan and you know the, the Regigigas is in Legends Arceus and stuff and maybe that was going to be like the April thing that he said there was going to be a thing but apparently um, Soul Silver Rock tweeted this out saying, Ku giving us a little update. Titan is Game Freak's code name for Scarlet and Violet. So it's not actually anything to do with Legends Arceus, but that is just the code name for Scarlet and Violet. Uh, we have those code names for previous Pokemon games. I think there was one called like Beluga or something like that, and that was like Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Basically, all the Pokemon games have code names which they refer to, and you see them in like the data mines and stuff. So, yeah, this is actually referring to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and he says Pokemon Scarlet and Violet soon. However, though, the only other interesting thing is. The fact that he said he's not going to get any information on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet till June. So I don't know how he can say that like it's going to be soon when it's not until June. So maybe he is talking about Legends Arcus. I don't know. But anyway, um, we have the tweet here saying he's saying he should get info on it soon. And usually when he says soon, it means pretty soon. As for retiring, he could be talking about making other leakers retire. But it seems like he's talking about himself. However... By my count, Ku has said he will quit three times already since October, so I'm not thinking much of it, but it does make sense that after Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, there won't be much mainline game news for a while. By the way, I think after Scarlet and Violet means after 100% completing Scarlet and Violet with DLC. Remember, Ku leaked Sword and Shield DLC. So yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if he's doing this for attention or whatever, but basically saying he's retiring soon, but he's getting some Scarlet and Violet stuff soon. Whatever I, that means, I don't really know. But um, yeah, just an interesting tweet nonetheless. But apparently we're getting some stuff soon. Um, but again, I, I thought he said we aren't getting any information until June. But anyway, that's something that I would, thought I would include in today's video. And next up, we're going over some pretty cool rumors. We have here some uh, screenshots um, of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet of a new crab-like Pokemon. Um, and again, take this with a massive grain of salt. We don't know if it is true or not. Some people are saying it's fake. Some people are saying it looks too good to be true. Some people are saying it's legit. I, I don't personally think it is true at all. I I'd be surprised if we got gameplay screenshots this early, but let's read about it. So this was by uh, Pokestarmy, who is uh, a translator in the community. She translates loads of Japanese stuff. Um, and again, will be linked in the description down below. She always translates these Japanese leaks, rumors, whatever you want to call them. And she says, since it's floating around, I translated it. Pretty pointless though. So there's no issue with the Japanese because usually when she translates Japanese and there's like the Japanese is just off, it usually helps to show that it's fake because the Japanese is wrong. Um, but she says, there's no issue with the Japanese since it's all standard and is the same as the last game. But that doesn't make it any more credible since it's beyond easy to replicate the Japanese random comparison pick from Google. So yeah, this is the the um, image translated. So here we have Arakujin or something. I think that's going to be the Japanese name of it, if this is true. And then we obviously have Fight Pokemon Bag Run. Again, you can just easily copy that, though, from Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, 
that from like that Japanese stuff like you literally just have to copy that because that's still fight bag run and stuff like that and then this is the other image here and, and this is level 11 something I noticed though is that they'd have like different health bars um, but I think we had that in Legends Arc as well like this health bar is just like green whereas this one down here has uh, you can't really see it but it has like a white kind of you can see it there it has like a white kind of rectangular thing around it so that's something um, and also the big thing about this is um, we, we, I, I think I don't know if like is gonna be battles like this because this looks like random battles like you go into like with a cutscene and stuff and I think Pokemon Legends uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet is gonna be a lot more free throwing like it was in Pokemon Legends Arceus so it doesn't go into this screen but I'm not really too sure um, but anyway this is just people replying saying you know take it with several spoonfuls of salt is this actually legit because I saw a clip stating that this is not real footage basically but I highly doubt it I can say, however, that the Japanese is correct and matches with the previous games, but that's easy to copy, so it just uh, alone doesn't make it legit. Um, the model looks cool, though. If it turns out to be legit, it's going to my team. Honestly, I wouldn't be mad either. I really like the look of it. I think it's going to be a sick one to have in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And this is like a deserty area or something um, with like a lake there or something. I don't know. It just always always takes um, a, a terrible uh, photo of these like alleged leaks or anything. Uh, this is on r slash PokeLeaks, though. This is people saying why it's fake and stuff. I don't think this is a good enough reason to just slate it as fake. Um, but anyway, they post here saying, I've seen this image spreading around the place, so I want to clear some things up. Don't you just love fake leak season? So this image is a confirmed fake that is well done. Eclipse and Ball Guy both said they were an Eclipse state of the concept and what it was about. Um, so yeah, this is basically just Eclipse and Ball Guy saying that this image is fake. But again, they, they aren't like... 100% legit sources, you know, they both said we were going to get like a new baby Pokemon in uh, a new baby Pokemon uh, um, What's it called Legends Arceus form? Uh, uh, oh my god, what's it called? Uh, Hisuian form uh, in Pokemon Legends Arceus and obviously that didn't happen so I don't think um, two insiders is a good enough reason to state that it's fake. I personally don't think it's true, but I don't think that is the reason why I think it um, should be said is it's fake. Uh, this is spreading around the sub, so I want to clear things up. Fake lease season is here again, so let's try and clear as much things as possible. More for channel is going to start spreading like wildfire, so just remember that everything you see is real. Just want to point out that there is uh, there because, like I said before, it's uh, leak season time. So. You know, I mean, Eclipse and Ball Guy don't know anything. Remember, Eclipse insisting Gen 9 was like three different countries at different times, on which was Spain. But yeah, it's obviously fake. The main giveaway is the Fueco, Fuecoco model looking not nearly as good as the Fakema model. And the fact that it is a fixed camera normal battle view rather than the Pokemon Legends Arceus controllable battle camera, which is what we know Scarlet and Violet has. That's what I was trying to say early with the whole, um, like, the fact that it was like a random battle. That's what I was trying to say with, like, the, the controllable fixed camera and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I don't think that like these are like the legit reasons to why I think it's fake, not because Eclipse and Ball Guy said. I don't know. I just like I say, they've got things right in the past, but I don't think you know just two people on Twitter saying it's not fake is good enough reason. But it, I mean, you can obviously make your own mind up about it whether you think it's true or not. I mean, personally, I don't think it's true. I think the crab looks really, really cool. Um, but yeah, like I say, these are going to be popping up all over the place, especially as we get for, uh, closer and closer to the actual game releasing. And this is obviously another high quality like shot of it here and you can like zoom in and stuff and it does look really really cool I've, I've not seen this pokemon anywhere around on like google as like because some people just take like fake mon and stuff and just put it in um like it was the same with like, that like, bug dragon thing that we saw for pokemon sword and shield a while back um and that's what they usually do but um again the person that like if this is fake the person that made it might come out and say how they did it because that's obviously what happened last time it might even be the same person that did the um the bug dragon type pokemon um and then this is also some more information about it though and again it's Says confirmed fake here but I, I, I don't think it has been confirmed fake yet but anyway we have uh, this person saying regarding the post of the scorpion in the desert battle the leaker had this to say also people have compared this to uh, castanets which are instruments used in Portugal and is associated with Spanish music so Arabianic evolves into Torchpion Pokemon Scarlet exclusive bye <laughs> and then that's kind of that so yeah saying that's a Pokemon Scarlet exclusive Again, I, I, I don't think it's true, but it's still a fun rumor to take a look at anyway. Again, we, we I don't think it's been confirmed as a fake yet, but it probably will be at some point. But either way, um, that's kind of like the more rumorish stuff. This is, again, not really leaking anything, but saying that we are going to get leaked soon. So I thought I'd include that in the video. But that's going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Uh, it really does help out. Leave, uh, let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment. What are your thoughts on this alleged leak? Do you think this is just completely false? Or do you think it does look kind of legit at all? Let me know your thoughts. Uh, subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. It's going to be everything from me though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.